with another beautiful morning. No seeds are up yet, but these have started to stand up. I'm actually seeing some movement better than yesterday. And I've taken the flowers off that so it doesn't try to produce uh, tomatoes at this point. to get some plants growing in the garden which is really good so we've got our lettuces and our parsley and coriander spring onions tomatoes and some um got some of the blue kale and so i've been buying some plants that have got to go in shortly so we've got a nice eggplant here um aroma tomato which will go in down the back there's another one and I look at all the cheap plants as well. So this was being thrown out for three dollars, and that's a black batoli bean. And this is also a heirloom one, so that's very good. And she looks quite healthy. She's been a lot better since she's been here. Uh, we've got tomatoes, basil, and got some snow peas here. I've got my pea shoots growing. They're normal peas, and this is the snow pea. And down at the hardware store, they've got what's called these Renaissance plants, and this one's called Betony. Um, this is a medicine plant uh, for a whole range of ailments, and it's been used for centuries. So, be interesting to see what I can do with this. I'll have to look that up. This one's quite interesting. This is a Renaissance plant, it's called anise. Um, so, it looks like a coriander, but it tastes like aniseed. So, this one is really nice. I like that one. That would be really good to chuck in the salads. Um, this is another one that we're chucking out, so I have to rescue this one. That's a jalapeno. And we've got some asparagus. And over here, this is called a cola rabi. It's a cross between like a turnip and a cabbage. It's quite good, so... This is another Renaissance plant, so they're like the old style plant, so we'll have to see what happens with this one. Um, we've got some leek, got some sage, some more asparagus, and then we've got, this is called heart ease. So you eat the flowers, so they go in salads. They don't have a very strong taste, which is good. So that's another medicinal plant, so. Fantastic. So I'm looking forward to getting these into the garden. Uh, the garden's starting to grow now, so it's uh, really exciting to see the food coming out of the ground. I'm now in the backyard and I'm about to plant my trees. So I've got the lemon tree there and there's the orange. So I'm just going to get my iPad, find out how big they grow and how wide they grow, so I can put it in the right position for the garden. And I've taken a before shot of here when it's clear. So um, it's time to plant the orchard. It's exciting stuff. So there's the lemon. Uh, one little thing on the floor is my gooseberry. And then I've got the orange tree there. I'm just going to find out where to put them. I've got a bit of organic soil here. Okay, I'm just checking on my iPad. The dwarf lemon grows to about one to two meters. So I've put it like about a meter and a half off the fence. It's not going to grow more than that, but I don't want it to shade the um, the vegetables too much. Got quite a lot of uh, roots here from the old palm trees. Let's sort of try and get through the roots.
nicely in the ground. Now for the next one. I've got to plant the orange. That's a dwarf orange and it's a Valencia. So this can grow two to five meters. So two meters about here. Five's a bit way up after that. So it's going to get a bit bigger. Hopefully it doesn't shade too much. But I'm still going to put it on that side. I'll have the taller ones on that side so they're not overshadowing the garden here. So pollinating can handle frost. Um, moderate watering can be pruned to two meters. So I'll keep. I'm going to keep all my trees pruned to around the two meter mark. I don't want big trees in the backyard. Full sun, 80% full sun. That's good and good drainage. Well, we're on sand, so yep. So all looking good. So now it's time to put this one in. which is a custard apple which we've had for years and it's just been basically sitting in that bucket all exposed still see some of the roots will maybe exposed I need to put a bit more soil on so I thought instead of trying to dig down because it's just full of roots I'd sort of put it above the ground so we can build this up maybe build the stones up and put more soil on her but I just saw some new leaves coming out we thought we'd killed her so she may live we just have to um, keep watering her keep loving her and see what happens okay i'll just take you on a tour of the garden and i'll give you an update and show you how the plants are going okay so my dwarf nectarine it's got all new leaves on it so this is growing beautifully and this only grows to about a meter and a bit and gets full-size nectarines so we've also found a peach so she's got some big leaves on i just need to get a, a similar pot to this and then we can have them as twins okay my um melons are growing i'll go get them in the ground i've still got to use those in there in the front silver beet is doing amazingly just look at that and i've put some smaller ones in for when we eat those i even have a few with tea tomatoes have taken off Dave's just put another steak in. So these are growing magically. And I found that I planted all the parsley and the coriander and such together in a bunch. So I've just split it into <laughs> individual plants. So that's why it's looking a bit messy. Now I've got some strawberries in here. I was hoping they would sort of hang down. Uh, the kale that I grew from seed starting to grow now. And here we've got radishes, and at the back there we've got the Thai basil, and we've got some chives in here as well. Again, I had them in one bunch instead of separate, so things are a little bit sick. I'll move on to this beautiful thing. It's uh, gets orange and yellow flowers. And then we've got uh, thyme and some more, some more kale over there. Of course this is an astertion and I like picking the leaves off there, it's very nice. We've got this little heart ease it's called, it's a medicinal plant and you eat the flowers. So I've had a few and they very mild, it's all pretty. The carrots look to have been gone, uh, these were mini carrots but I think they've been hit by the slaters but that sort of takes the slaters interest away from everything else so I haven't bothered with that. Got asparagus in there a marigold to help with the insects another Thai basil which is a little bit sparse and I put some like a combination of lettuces in here and we've got a bok choy in there as well I think that's that one there so these are growing really well 
uh, sage, got a couple of sages and some rosemary, and mini chili here. And I've just put some more of the coriander that I split up over here. And this is a blueberry, I don't know if that's going to live, but we'll see. Oh yeah, looking good over here. Okay, we've now got a worm farm. I just have to um, learn how to use it. So I'll put some food in there. Some little, I saw some little wigglies before. But I might get something to um, make it cooler because it gets very hot here. So that's a learning curve. So the potatoes are growing well. Got a flower, so they might be ready soon. So everything seems to me everything seems to be maturing early, so I'm not sure about that. Got some tarragon that's flowering there. I've uh, got more asparagus in there. This is a curry bush. Of course I've got more radishes in here. That's uh, a chocolate capsicum. That would be interesting. And it's a normal capsicum. And I've got this cross here. It's a cross between a cabbage and a turnip. It's like a red. I suppose it would come out looking a bit like a beetroot, so it would be strange. Got the Romano tomatoes. So they're growing well. Some nice steaks for them. And here we've got a couple of chilies. They were um, they were sold for a couple of dollars because they were dying, so they seem to be coming back to life. So I've got more carrot in here. I'm not sure how they will go. And on the back here, my peas have started to grow. Then we've got um, leeks in here. And this is a snow pea, which has got a flower on it. So again, that's a bit immature. And we've got some beans here. Again, they were three dollars. They were dead, so they've sprang back to life. And I've had a couple of organic celery, so I just cut the bottom off and stuck them in. So this is my dwarf gooseberry. So I might actually plant that in the garden because I don't want it to uh, struggle. The eggplant, ACL with cherry. I have a rogue pea in there, it's getting all those little uh, things off it, trying to find something to climb up. And these are zucchini and cucumber, or they could be the zucchini and they could be the cucumber. I'll find out one day. And this is um, Bellamy which is another majestic plant. The spring onions and I think the corn's just about had it. It's actually growing corn, so might pull the corn. Hi, I'm about to make my first salad with uh, these nice lettuces that I've just showed you in the garden. So I'm gonna pick some and I'm actually gonna cut one right to the bottom to see if the lettuce grows again, basically. So that I'll know that I can just cut the whole lettuce and then it will reproduce. Okay, so. Let's get going. So I've never done this before, so I've actually brought out the scissors, so let's see. Uh, they are uh, quite big, so in the salad I'll probably have to cut them up. So, scissor malfunction. I'll be easier with my hands. Yes, it's much better. Touching the earth. Um, ask permission of these beautiful lettuces for me to uh, partake of the nourishment from them. I'm really grateful I can do this. If we get the outer leaves. It's funny, like this one here, it's got the brown ones and the green ones, and that is the same plant. Malfunction fixed. Well, let's go under this little baby and cut them all off. Sorry, sweetheart. And you can see we've just got the stump left there, so I'll come back to that in a few days and see how we're going. Oh, someone's had a bit of a munch there. It's okay. 
share and share alike that's what i say okay so now that i've got my bowl i'll go inside and make a nice salad